Time now for the morning rush. Just in, a pair of New Mexico murder suspects have been arrested. 31-year-old Jesus Garcia and 23-year-old Alejandro Murillo. They are accused of shooting Daniel Sandoval in Meadow Lake, and this is in Valencia County on Saturday night. Now, the men taken into custody but released after deputies say they did not have probable cause to hold them. Officials issued warrants for their arrests, and the men were found just in El Paso. We expect to learn more today about an officer-involved shooting in northeast Albuquerque overnight. This does include if it was accidental that something police say might be the case. APD says they were investigating a possible kidnapping in the area of Montgomery and San Mateo. Police say they spotted the possible suspect and victim. Officers say the suspect ran. That's when an officer fired at least one shot. No one was hurt. The suspect is in custody. Connor. We have a cold front today, windy everywhere by 2 p.m. The front carving through Farmington, Durango area. No guarantees of rain showers, but if we do get a shower in Albuquerque, it'll be around 8.30 this evening. Could also see some lightning. David? Also breaking this morning, a bill legalizing pot in New Mexico is now in the hands of the Senate after barely passing in the House. House Bill 356 regulates the use, production, and sale of cannabis for adults over 21. In the new version, you would not be able to grow marijuana at home or have more than an ounce on you. Looking ahead for you to Monday when students in Rio Rancho will be heading back to school. They'll see armed security officers on campus. The school board placed 12 armed guards across the district on a rotating base. Most of them are retired law enforcement and are already on the payroll. A new measure recently approved allows them to carry guns while on duty. We could soon find out if the condition of a man seen right here on this video getting hit by a bus has improved. Police say he was seriously injured in the crash. Now you can see a man running across the street near San Mateo and Candelaria last month as cars fly by in both directions. This is the aftermath on the bus afterwards. Now immediately after the man is hit, you can see the passengers pouring out of the bus to help. The driver does not appear to be distracted when the crash happens. New video this morning showing what a homeowner says is a brazen thief swiping a security camera. The homeowner says his ring doorbell was stolen around 830 at night last week in a neighborhood near Kirtland Air Force Base. He says the same guy was caught on a neighbor's ring doorbell camera committing the same crime. He's warning people to be on the lookout in case he comes back. Today around noon, some New Mexico students will be at the Roundhouse. Their goal, drawing attention to preventing bullying and gun violence. Now, students from Santa Fe Public Schools say they are hosting a die-in at the Roundhouse. They're scheduled to speak about their concerns when it comes to school safety. The city will likely weigh recommendations to attract more conventions to the Duke City. A report by the Lodgers Tax Advisory Board says conventions don't come to Albuquerque because there are only three hotels within walking distance to the convention center. The board is also recommending more than $6 million in improvements. At their next meeting, an Albuquerque City Councilor will likely explain why she believes they should get more money to do their jobs. Now, every year, City Councilors get $5,000 to spend on outreach in their district, but Councilor Clarissa Pena is hoping to increase that to $40,000 for each of the nine councilors. She says this is to make a bigger impact in the districts. The District Attorney's Office in Bernalillo County will continue to chip away at DWI case files. They say they're short-staffed at this time. Right now, 18 Metro Court attorneys are each taking on more than 500 DWI cases a year. For now, they will enlist the help of organizations like Mothers Against Drunk Driving to help with things like victim support services. We'll let you know if things change. Take a look at your screen right now. APD is searching for this man they say is missing this morning. You're asked to call 242 cops if you see Joseph Hall. Yesterday morning, police say that Hall called the VA suicide hotline making suicidal threats. A family member later noticed that he was missing from the home and taking a black handgun with two loaded magazines. Albuquerque getting a lot of attention this morning, being ranked 67th on the list of the top 100 places to live for millennials. Livability.com says they surveyed 1,000 millennials on factors like things that they consider when deciding where to live. The number one thing they said, affordability, of course. Albuquerque ranking 67th on that list once more. Connor. Got the Metro Threat Index at a 6-4 today. Elevated winds will lead to fire danger. Could even see some isolated thunderstorms in the Metro once we get to around 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. David. Two local doctors say that they found a way to ease the burden of depression on patients undergoing dialysis treatment. Now, a study of 120 patients for 12 weeks found that depression improved with medication and talk therapy. Their research recently released in a national journal. Today, you can catch a movie filmed right here in New Mexico about Billy the Kid at local theaters. The Kid tells the story of a young boy who must choose between Billy the Kid and New Mexico Sheriff Pat Garrett to help rescue his kidnapped sister. The movie stars Ethan Hawke as Garrett and Dane DeHaan as Billy the Kid. 
Looking for something to do tonight? Well, at 7 p.m., you can catch the Harlem Globetrotters. They're going to be the team. The team, rather, is going to be at the Santa Ana Star Center. It's happening tonight as part of their fan-powered world tour. Now, this comes as the team celebrates adding five new Guinness World Records to their resume. Connor. Let's take a look at that morning drive. There is some slowdown on I-40 East, but everything else is moving smoothly. Also, the big guy. Things are clear. You can see the cars going along just fine on this so far sunny morning. David. A New Jersey man is waking up a millionaire this morning. It's all thanks to a good Samaritan. Mike Worski bought two tickets but left them at the store. One of those tickets is worth $273 million. Now, someone gave them to the clerk who luckily held onto them until Worski returned. Here's a look at satellite radar. That front getting closer and closer to Durango. Might see some mixed precipitation, but things will start off as a snowstorm for the San Juans. It's going to be a windy day and a pretty cloudy day for Albuquerque and also pretty warm, 67 degrees. A little cooler for the upcoming weekend and the main thing, calm. Calm winds once we get to Saturday morning. Monday brings a very good chance of metro rain. And not only there, but also across the state. Eastern New Mexico finally getting some much needed rain between Monday and Tuesday. And also much cooler. We're going to transition from 60s eventually to 40s by the end of the week. Take a look now at our five facts. Let's start with number five here. Beginning today, you can catch a movie about Billy the Kid that was filmed in Santa Fe. The kid tells the story of a young boy who must choose between Billy the Kid and New Mexico Sheriff Pat Garrett to help rescue his kidnapped sister. The movie is already at local theaters. It looks like a good one. Yeah, it does. And number four, a shelter is set up in Belen this morning for families displaced, all because of a Bosque fire that left four families homeless. A firefighters working overnight, watching and attacking any hot spots. At last check, 100 acres were torched, four homes burned, and one firefighter injured. Now that firefighter is expected to be okay. And at number three, it's going to be a windy forecast, but not necessarily a wet forecast. Once we get to around 7 or 8 o'clock tonight, we could see a passing rain shower and possibly some lightning. At number two this morning, the state house is giving a bill legalizing pot here in the state the green light. The bill now moves to the Senate with some big changes. House Bill 356 regulates the use, production, and sale of cannabis for adults over 21. In the new version, you will not be able to grow marijuana at home, and you can only have an ounce or less on you. Democrats are touting the economic benefit of legalizing marijuana because it can only be sold at state-run stores. However, Republicans say that it would lead to increased drug use and dangerous drivers on the roads. On to number one now. APD is investigating an officer-involved shooting late last night in northeast Albuquerque. They say it may have been an accidental firing. APD says it started as a call for a possible kidnapping in the area of Montgomery and San Mateo. Officers say after they spotted the possible suspect and the victim, the suspect took off. APD says the officers gave chase. One officer that was chasing fired at least one shot. Luckily, no one was hurt. The suspect is in custody this morning. Of course, we'll continue following this for you throughout the day. Let you know the very latest details right here on KRQ News 13.